Today's show is brought to you by Audible, and right now you can get a free audiobook download and 30 day free trial at audibletrial.com forward slash joined up. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Thanks for tuning in to the Joined Up Writing Podcast, a weekly show featuring interviews with fantastic authors sharing their personal stories on how and why they write. There's hints and tips for aspiring writers and great book reviews from top bloggers. Follow us on Twitter at JU Podcast. Right, cue the cheesy theme tune. Put down your pen and stop your typing Grab yourself a drink cause it's joined up writing The Epilogue Yes, it's The Epilogue, our bonus in-between episodes and a quick listen containing an extra question or topic not covered in the original interview. And this week, Tosca Lee returns to give her tips on collaboration. Tosca collaborated with Ted Decker on the Books of Mortals series, so she's got loads of experience in this area. And if you missed it, you can find Tosca's full interview from last week over at joinedupwriting.co.uk or, even better, subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Overcast... Spotify or wherever else you get your podcast to get a new episode downloaded automatically every week. We've got a huge archive of interviews, two minute tips, epilogues and writing chats for you to enjoy and it's all completely free. And if you still can't wrap your head around podcast apps then at the very least just head over to the website and hit the subscribe button at joinedupwriting.co.uk and that way you'll get a little email every Tuesday to let you know that the new episode is available to listen to. Right, let's hear what Tosca had to say. Okay, Tosca, thanks for hanging around for the epilogue. I appreciate it. And nice. yeah, and for this, I just thought um I noticed, you know, reading through your bio and your your list of books and different things, I noticed that one of the things that you've worked on in the in the past was a collaboration with uh, Ted Decker. Um mm-hmm. And so I just thought we could talk a little bit about collaboration, you know, what, what you enjoyed about that experience, what were the challenges, mm. and sort of how you approach that for other people that might be out there thinking about collaborating. Absolutely. This is actually a question I get uh, asked often um, because I think there's a lot of people who are interested in, in writing uh, together. So um, I would start off by saying my my biggest piece of advice is to know what your strengths are as a writer and what you're bringing to the table and to the partnership. Mm-hmm. When Ted and I wrote together, um, he's, he's well known for his plotting mm-hmm. and uh, pacing. And at that time in my career, I had just my first two books out and I was known for my prose and characterization. Mm-hmm. So it was, uh, and our voices were very different. Mm-hmm. So it, the challenge, the hardest part probably, was combining our voices into one cohesive narrative voice mm-hmm. and then um, combining those those strengths and deciding um, how to, to begin our process. And I, I've known a lot of people who have written with, with other writers, and it seems like every partnership does it different. Yeah. And so I think a lot of communication has to be spent deciding what the best way is for you in, in your partnership. And, you know, for us, it was a lot of talking, um, a lot of, uh, Skype time, a lot of, um, you know, kind of deciding who's going to do what. And, and in the first book, it was a lot of, um, you know, I, I wrote the, the majority of the first draft of the first book, but I would pass it to Ted and he would rewrite it and then he would pass it back to me and I would rewrite it. And what we were doing is we were combining our voices and getting our fingerprints all over it. By the second book, the process um, was much faster. Mm -hmm. Um, We were both laying down that first draft about 50, 50, um, by the third book, the process was so quick. And I suppose by the, f- the sort of by the third book, those your first drafts were probably you probably got used to, or it's almost like you'd found a new voice when you're writing in that book. Yeah. Would you say like a different persona almost? 
right? Because, you know, you're, you know, the voice by then, um, you know, my voice changed, his voice changed in the process. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I think he, I think he did the majority of the first draft for the third book, but you, you get to know your writing partner's style and voice so well that you can, you can be writing a chapter and say, Hey, will you take care of this part? Mm -hmm. You know, you go in and do the description of this, um, you know, cause, cause you know that your partner will do that part better anyway. So it, you just, it's a, process of really getting to to know your your collaborator really and how did you approach so you you said that ted's strength at the time was the kind of plotting side of things but did you Mm. kind of have to i mean you mentioned skype did you have to kind of brainstorm those ideas did you have disagreements along the way (laughs) yeah so we did uh, a lot of skype we did a lot of brainstorming especially at the you know beginning because we're world building for this dystopian series that we did um of course you don't have to do as much of that by the second or third book Mm -hmm. we uh, we would go in and kind of talk about how the story should flow and then ted would be the one who would go in and kind of start laying out the sections like we we would outline about a third of the book at at a time Mm -hmm. so he would go in and start kind of breaking it down into chapters of okay you know let's let's do this in the first chapter and, you know, this, 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 and this can happen, you know, that we had talked about. And then he'd start kind of laying it out. I'd go in and I would start writing. Um, but usually about a third of a book at a time. So as we got towards the end of that first third, he'd start laying out the second third or so. Um, that said, there were, you know, time, I remember this one time, there's this um, character named Trifon in the book. And I was writing this scene with Trifon. And, you know, I referenced earlier in our conversation um, how, you know, sometimes things happen, <laughs> you know, in the writing, right? Yeah. So I um, so I wrote this scene and, you know, I've, things kind of went off the rails a little bit, you know, and <laughs> they went the way that I thought they should go based on the way it was happening in the chapter. Sure. And... Um, and I would typically write, you know, at night and send it to him and he would read it in the morning because we had different schedules. Yeah. So the next day I get a call and he's like, you killed Trifon? <laughs> and I was like, it was his time, man. Let him go. <laughs> and he's like, you can't kill Trifon. And I was like, look, this happened. This happened. You know, it was inevitable. It was this is the right up. decision. Yeah. yeah. So we ended up having to come to a compromise on that. But, um, yeah. you know arguments can arise and you know it's it's you have to decide kind of how you're going to resolve those things <laughs> absolutely so what so what would be your tips for if anyone's like thinking of going out and doing a collaboration what would be your kind of main tip from it then would it be think think about what you can bring to the table and approach it like that well um really be aware either from your own experience or by seeking the opinion of people who have read your writing, be aware of what you are good at. Seek partners that are going to uh, be strong where you're not as strong and who will better you as a writer Mm -hmm. and whom you can learn from as you're going. Uh, It's really interesting. You know, I had done a lot of, you know, I had not a lot. I had done biblical historical more lyrical fiction before yeah. I wrote with Ted and he had done thrillers. Well, when we finished, I went and wrote thrillers and he started writing biblical <laughs> historical. So we kind of like the influence cross. each other. Yeah. Yeah. It was, um, but find people that, you know, will, um, sharpen you as, as a writer and then find people that, um, share kind of your same philosophy about writing and storytelling and obviously who are, interested in the same kinds of stories that you are Mm -hmm. Um, and you know you're going to be communicating with that person quite a lot so it helps if you can get along (laughs) yeah it helps if you (laughs) find someone that you actually like could be a bonus right yeah yeah and for people um that might be listening to this that might want to check those books out just remind us what 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 those books are that you collaborated with ted on yeah that's a, a trilogy called the books of mortals and so the, the three books were called Forbidden, Mortal, and Sovereign. So that's what those are. Excellent. And they're kind of a dystopian um, adventure. Yeah. 
Excellent. Well, thanks so much for hanging around. Really appreciate it. And uh, the main chat was was great as well. And uh, yeah. good luck with all the all the upcoming projects. And I hope you get to the end of that draft by your deadline, or at least just after it. <laughs> it was due August first, so I'm aiming for this uh, in the next few days. So oh, you're nearly there. The end is in sight. <laughs> Close. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure. I I truly enjoyed it. So thank you. There you go, that was Tosca Lee, and you should definitely check out Tosca's latest thriller, The Progeny. What about you lot? Have any of you had experiences with collaboration you want to share? Maybe you've got some more tips or advice? Well, you can let me know on Twitter, at JU Podcast, and also don't forget to let me know what you think of the show by leaving a quick review on Apple Podcasts. It takes seconds and definitely helps others to find the show. Okay, that's it for this week. Thanks for listening. I'm Wayne Kelly. Happy reading and writing, and I'll see you next time. Joined up, right?